there, my fellow speed freaks, and welcome to another episode of Warhammer Humor. The place where we add a few jokes to existing Warhammer topics to hopefully improve your day. Following our current Legion humor trend, today we shall approach another loyalist one in the form of the speedy and carefree White Scars. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The White Scars, although to themselves they are the Horde of Jagatai, are a legion slash chapter of Space Marines, which are basically Space Mongols in power armor on gigantic bikes. Their old legion number was 5. Their Primarch was Jagatai Khan. During the Unification Wars, the 5th Legion served as the eyes and ears of the Unifiers. They were the scouts of the Emperor, who sought out anyone who dared oppose him. They traveled through the devastating landscape of Terra, often in small companies of a few dozen men, looking out for enemies and foes in the wasteland. When the Unification of Terra ended, the Emperor split the Legion into pioneer companies of several hundred marines each to scout the frontier. These pioneer companies were all related by Seed, but otherwise independent. And then these pioneer companies would travel far ahead of the main expeditions, following warp currents to places unknown. This behavior was also the origin of the Legion's preference for hit-and-run tactics. Since the pioneer companies were almost always fighting enemies that outnumbered them, that was pretty much the only option. They would perform raids and surprise attacks on the enemy, learning the strategies and tactics of said enemy, and then pass on this knowledge onto the main expedition. Although some, including Horus, appreciated them, he was especially fond of the pioneer company that discovered his own homeworld, the battles of the 5th Legion were seldom given attention, although none of the Legion were especially upset about it, as they enjoyed keeping themselves to themselves. The Scars were one of the free loyal legions that fought in the Siege of Terra, alongside the Imperial Fists and the Blood Angels. We don't know that much about their role in the battle yet, except that they recaptured an important spaceport so the Loyalist reinforcements could be brought in, and that Akan apparently spent at least one part of the siege commanding the Legion from atop a Razorback. The White Scars, maybe above all else, are known for their sweet, sweet mustaches, and also the literal scars they make into their faces upon induction into the chapter. Also, they only recruit from Jagatai's adopted homeworld now, which is Mundus Planus, but known locally as Chogores. Up until the Horus Heresy, there was a mix of Terrans and Chogorians in the Legion, and quite likely many others from across diverse planets across the galaxy, or at least prior to their reunion with Jagatai. Their entire bike thing makes slower moving troops like Devastator squads or tanks quite rare. To compensate for that, they use a large amount of drop pods, land speeders, and rhinos. And of course, bikes. Lots and lots and lots of bikes. Bikes in space, even. They also have quite a noticeable rivalry with the Raven Guard, because of their conflicting general tactical doctrine. According to the Death Watch, a failure to cooperate in an old campaign destroyed a lot of the chances of fostering ties they might have had. While the Raven Guard prefers to lie in wait and plan their attacks down to the letter to ensure that the most efficient results are achieved when they finally start the attack, the White Scars pretty much do the opposite. They run in with chainsaws drawn, using their fast attack specialty to overwhelm the opponent with sheer speed and awesomeness. Despite this animosity, the two have fought alongside each other on more than one occasion, and it is worth noting that this is a competitive rivalry more than anything else. Plus, at least one time, the Ravens rode shotgun on a great hunt of the Scars, which made for an even greater bonding experience. Despite their savage image, much like their original inspiration, the Mongols, they're actually a very cultured force, and by far one of the best groomed in the Imperium. 
their aspirants have to take up courses like poetry, painting, and calligraphy, and in their downtime they wear silk robes. As a result, they don't like hanging around a particular Viking-esque chapter who likes treating the entire barbarian thing like a badge of honor. The only cultural traits they share with these space vikings are hunting, although it is implied that the Scars enjoy falconing more, and the fact that they really enjoy their job, frequently admonishing recruits to laugh and smile while fighting. If you can channel the myriad of emotions, good, bad and ugly, the battlefield brings into sheer thrill, then you found the only glory there can be found in war. Unfortunately, they don't really hang out with anyone outside their own successor chapters, and so the rest of the Imperium have kept this barbarian misconception for all these thousands of years. Their Primarch and the Legion were perhaps the only ones outside Gilliman and the Lion to realize that they were in fact living weapons, and little more than that. Unlike a few other losers who realized this and went all grim, dark and bitter, the White Scars embraced it and they were totally fine with it. It was their purpose, and everyone enjoys knowing their purpose. They used to get on really well with the Luna Wolves, particularly the Terran portion of the White Scars, many of whose members had aspired to join the Luna Wolves only to find themselves seconded to the Scars. And the Scars seem to have unjustly ranked just below the Space Wolves and the World Eaters as the Legion the Aspirants most dreaded being assigned to. As a result of that, the Terran Khans tended to favor a mix of White Scars and Luna Wolves organization and doctrine, to the point where they even resented Jagatai's leadership for being too flighty, compared to Horus' own fully committed crushing attacks. On the other hand, the Chogorian portion of the Legion used to be big bros with the Thousand Sons, their Chogorian artistic culture colliding perfectly with the Prosperian nerdiness. Not to mention the high position Psykers had in both Legions. The fact that the Space Wolves pretty much forced the Thousand Sons into turning to chaos doesn't play well with the Scars even to this day which also stacks with their dislike of the wolves' barbarian and proud of it gimmick. Their current chapter master, also known as a Great Khan, is Jubal Khan, whose ancestor of the same name once kicked Sigismund in the face. Legends are told of this guy's sweet mustache across the length and breadth of the Imperium. The bodyguard of the Khan, known as the Keshig, are the only white scars known to use Terminator armor probably because they wait until they're stuck in it and teleport onto the field. Because it is difficult to imagine Jubal letting things as insignificant as common sense, or letting the bodyguard do their work, get in the way of charging the enemy at Mach 5. The daily rituals of a white scar include 4 AM, rousing from slumber. The white scars get up from their bikes. 4.10 a.m. Grooming time. The white scars tend to their mustaches and long flowing hair. 5 a.m. Morning prayer. Those with mustaches pray to the god emperor for the strength to defeat the enemy. Those without mustaches pray for mustaches. 6 a.m. Morning firing rites. The white scars practice their bike mounted weaponry. 7 a.m. Battle practice. The White Scars practiced beheading a target with a single strike of their swords. All of that at 100 miles per hour drive-bys. 12 p.m. Midday prayer. White Scars pray for their bikes to perform well in the coming afternoon. Those without fabulous mustaches pray even more desperately for mustaches. 1 p.m. Midday meal. The White Scars consume various meats they had put under their saddles during the morning exercise. Meal is now properly cooked from the heat of the bike. The metallic Promethium-like flavor is said to add to the taste. Milk mixed with Promethium from their bikes is consumed as well. 1.15 PM Tactical Indoctrination The White Scars are informed on which enemies are the latest to elude the chapter. 3 p.m. 
Battle Practice The White Scars practice beheading a target with a single strike while hanging upside down from a land speeder. 8 p.m. Evening Prayer The White Scars give thanks to the Emperor for another productive day. The younger battle brothers fervently praise the Emperor when they find stubble upon their faces. 9 p.m. Evening Meal A feast is provided by the chapter serfs, consisting mostly of horse meat and har airag, fermented horse milk. Partaking in a drunken throat singing is encouraged. 9.45 p.m. Night Firing Exercises the White Scars practice formations in the dark. Any Marine that crashes into another is disciplined. 11 p.m. Maintenance Rituals The White Scars spend a bit of time maintaining and customizing their rides. 11.45 p.m. Free Time The White Scars prefer to spend things on poetry, painting, and calligraphy. Others choose to spend more time on their bikes. Midnight Resting period. The White Scars return and park their bikes and sleep on them. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the joyous White Scars, their mustaches and bikes for today. Definitely one of the most carefree forces of space marines out there. Also, alongside the salamanders, probably the best guys to hang around with as they are much more friendly, polite, positive, and civilized than you might imagine. What about you, though? What are your thoughts about the White Scars and their fabulous mustaches? Are they among your favorite legions slash chapters? What do you like or dislike most about them? Do share your thoughts or questions if you got any in the comments below. If you found the video at least a little bit funny, Please click the like, share, and subscribe buttons for future content. Thanks a lot for watching to the end, and have an awesome healthy day. The Emperor Protects.